Hey socialites, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Ariel. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's the type of content you enjoy watching, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and become a socialite. Today's video is gonna be a full face using products that I'm currently obsessed with, you guys. It was tough to sort of pick these because in some of these categories, there are like two or three products that I equally love. But if you wanna see those products that I'm loving right now and how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so after I did my skincare this morning, I put on my new Clarins Double Serum, which I'm loving, by the way. So I'm gonna add my Clinique 100 Hour Moisturizer. Loving this to put on, like when I'm on the days that I know I'm gonna wear makeup, because you get that great hydration, but then it's so lightweight and it dries so quick. So I usually wait about two minutes before I go in with primer. And for foundation, I'm gonna use my new Ami Cole foundation sticks, which I'm loving, by the way. Looks so good on the skin, you guys. I was debating if I wanted to use this or the new About Face foundation because these two, the Ami Cole and the About Face, I'm super obsessed with right now. And I would say that both foundations would be great for any skin type. You just have to sort of watch how you prime. So since I'm using Ami Cole, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Primer and just put it in the areas I need it because I like how radiant the foundation is, but I do get a little bit more shine just right in the T-zone area. And this one really helps with that and it helps to fill in pores. And then I wait about another two to three minutes before I move on to foundation. So I like to go in with the darker shade on the outer perimeters of my face and then the lighter shade on the inside. I'm gonna blend out with my LYS foundation brush. So to brighten a little bit under eye, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. And for blush, I'm gonna use the Ami Cole Desert Date multi stick this stick can be used for blush or you can use it on the lips it is a beautiful berry shade of blush blends out so nice too i love this shade and to set i'm going to use the huda beauty peach pie Powder. There's quite a few powders that I'm obsessed with right now, to be honest, but I'm just gonna pull for this because I haven't pulled for it in a while, maybe in a week or two, just because there's been so many other powders I've been testing, but this one is really nice. up my brows with my Ardell brow glue. So Anastasia has a new brow glue too, which I like. It's a really good benefit. Had one that just launched, but it was colored. I talked about it on the February Hits and Misses video. And something about that pigment was a little too much for me. Their new little nano micro pencil is really nice though. Okay, so we're gonna put some tape down cause I'm gonna do somewhat of a bold shade. I've been obsessed with the About Face Liquid Shadows, the um, fluid paint sticks. Now I've been using the color Cloned, which is like a medium-ish shade of brown. So I'm gonna use a new shade that I picked up from Ulta during the sale, 
which this one is in the shade Vintage Granada. And it's a deeper like purpley eggplant like shade. So we want that to be precise. We don't want it to get too messy. And this is the um, Real Techniques eyeshadow tape. It's not too, it's sticky, but it's not too sticky. So it doesn't really disturb your makeup. So you could use this once you've done your base or you can do it, you know, before your base and it won't mess it up. Okay, so we're gonna put the deeper shade towards the outside. I'm gonna do one at a time because I'm not too familiar with how this darker shade blends, but hopefully it blends the same. And I'm gonna use my MAC 217 blending brush. And yes, it does blend out the, sh the same as the brown. So we're just gonna assume that all the shades blend out seamless like this one. And like the previous one I was telling you guys about, the previous one I've been using. Gonna deepen it just a little bit more so towards the lash line. Yeah, I should have got the pink one during the sale. I was debating, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get the shade that I've been eyeing, but I really should have gotten a few because these are really nice. So I'm gonna go in with my YSL Couture Clutch and take probably a combination of these two shades I think would work well with this sort of purpley shade and my MAC 239 Shader Brush. I feel like I don't play in color enough with eyeshadows, I'm just pretty much a brown on the lid and go. <laughs> but I do very much love color with eyeshadow. What's y'all's favorite brand of eyeshadow? This one's really nice. I love the formula of it. So glad I got it. But I really love the Juvia's Place eyeshadows. And that price point is like amazing if you haven't tried them you really should so i just did the lighter shade that shade and i'm gonna take that medium pink and just tap it in between the two colors i'm just gonna take my sephora micro smooth powder this is the one i set all over with and just blend out that line. I'm gonna do a baby wing, not too dramatic. And I wanna keep that more so just on the end. Using my e.l.f. stick. This one's in bombshell. And I'm just gonna add a medium brown to smudge under the bottom. My Fenty Hella Thick Mascara. So let's take the new YSL All Hours Powder. And then my YSL Hyper Bronze, the new bronzer. And I'll have the shades to everything I'm using in the description box. To brighten under eye, I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty press powder. This one is in peach pie as well. EFF3 from ColourPop and Sephora Collection number eight. This is the plumping gloss. It's, these are really pigmented. So if you don't wanna lay down like a solid lip color first, you'll still get like a good color payoff with this. And it's ultra shiny. I'm gonna overline a little bit and add a little bit more contrast with the Anastasia pencil in the shade Malt. So this is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Everything I used today, including the shades, will be linked down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out. If you're new here, welcome. 
I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are. Don't you scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars